So in part three, we're gonna go ahead and clean up the logo display. And we're gonna go through and completely disassemble it. We're gonna clean it. We're gonna scrub some stuff in and we're gonna replace a few things. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm removing the screws that hold the front panel glass to the rest of the logo display. Again, what is up with these dang wasp nests? First thing that we're gonna do is go ahead and pull that sucker out of there. And that's nasty. I doubt this is the original light bulb, but it still is in pretty good condition, but I'm probably just gonna go ahead and replace it just because. The actual assembly as a whole isn't in that bad of condition. You can obviously see some surface rust there, but honestly, this is the one piece of the, the whole machine itself that I really kind of want to just keep original because of how like good of condition it's in and all the cool markings it has on the back. After doing some research I found that this is actually the lamp ballast starter. I have no idea what that is but that's what it is I guess. <laughs> so now we start the long process of cleaning and disassembly. Check out how good this paint shines up. It is absolutely beautiful. To be completely honest with you, I honestly didn't know it was going to do that, but we're okay because it just popped out and I could actually disassemble it because it was supposed to go like that.
I bought new replacement bulbs on Amazon. Unfortunately, the only way I could get them is if I bought like a pack of six, so I guess I'll be good on bulbs for a while. So this is what it looked like before, and this is what it looked like after. I'd say it's a job well done. Thanks for watching part 3. I hope you enjoyed all the time lapse and the music and stuff. If you like that way of styling in my videos, please comment below and let me know. Um, thank you for watching.